Hey mama, so if you are expecting a little one and you are a little uncertain as to how you can prepare your older child or children for this new baby, you're gonna wanna stick around because today I'm sharing three really helpful tips that I have been integrating to help Kai prepare for the newest member of our family, coming up. Hey, hey, and welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new here, thank you for watching. My name is Nicole and I'm a mama. I'm an intentional parenting coach, as well as a licensed pediatric occupational therapist. And this channel is all about helping you grow as a mom. And I'm sharing tips, strategies, tools, and my own personal experiences to help make the motherhood journey just a little bit easier on you. So if that sounds like something you're into, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button below. Okay, so if you're brand new to my world, you wouldn't quite know that at the time of filming, I am about 28 weeks pregnant. And so we are gearing up for this baby and pregnancy has flown by and simultaneously gone by rather slow during a pandemic. But I really wanted to be intentional about preparing Kai emotionally for this new member of our family because it's a big transition, it's a big deal. And some kiddos, you know, transition into this more smoothly than others. So the more intentional we can be about prepping our older kiddos for the new member of the family, I think the easier the transition. So I wanna share three things that I am doing in my home. Okay, so all three of these tips fall under the umbrella of integrating your older child or children into the process or into the evolution of bringing home a baby. So the first minor piece for us that fits under the umbrella of just including Kai in this process is we like to go through Kai's outgrown toys and set them aside for baby. Now this is something that's kind of natural for Kai because at least twice a year around Christmas time and around his birthday, we will do like a massive, hey, what can we donate to other kids that don't have toys? Because he knows that he's either going to be gifted things from family members or presents are likely coming in. And so from a very young age, I've been intentional about having him be part of what toys would you like to offer to another child and helping him understand that those toys are going to bring another child joy. So it's kind of this seamless transition now that we're bringing in baby number two of what toys would you like to share with your younger brother or sister that's going to bring them joy. And so it's been this like beautiful bonding experience between himself and me going through either books or toys and having him just feel such pride and saying like, I can't wait to play with my little brother or sister, you know, with this toy, or I can't wait to read this book with my little brother or sister. So it's like this setting up for future memories with your older child or children. So even if your little one is not as old as Kai, Kai is four years old, so I'm able to do a lot with him in terms of preparation. Maybe you have a younger one. Even just talking through these things can make a really big difference because our little one's receptive language skills come online a lot faster than a lot of us parents give our kiddos credit for, right? And so if it's something that you need to do, but you're talking through the process of like, it's going to be so much fun, we're gonna do this as a family, or this toy is gonna, you know, make your little brother or sister so happy, integrating these pieces work the same. So it's just something that Kai gets to have a little bit more ownership in now that he's four years old. Like he gets to make the decisions about which books he wants to share and which toys he wants to share. Again, that just, makes him so proud and it gives him something to look forward to in the coming months and years. All right, so the second piece of this puzzle that fits under just bringing Kai along for this journey and this process is Kai really, and this was his own idea, but I think it's a beautiful one. And again, this is gonna work for older kiddos, but you can modify this if you have a younger child. Kai wants to read to this baby every single night. Now, my husband and I have from the time Kai was in the womb, we have read to him every single night. So that's just part of his nightly routine. It's something we do and it's important to us. And so now at age four, 
Kai wants to take responsibility and he wants to read to his little brother or sister every single night. So I'll give him an option. I'll say, do you want me to read to both of you or do you want to read to us? And oftentimes it's he wants to read to us. Again, as a mama to my firstborn, just seeing the pride and joy on his face to be able to help or to take an active role in nurturing and caring for uh, his little brother or sister is just it's such a beautiful thing and it's like establishing a bond that hasn't even materialized yet. Again, this is just beautiful prep work. So I would suggest either if your child is old enough, having them read to your little one each night or make it a thing and say, you know, it's story time. And not only am I going to read to you, but baby's able to hear now. Baby can hear the words that I'm saying. So you're both going to get story time. It's just a really fun and easy way to create a bonding experience for everyone. All right, so the third and final piece I wanna share with you is let your little one be a part of either setting up a nursery or a space for baby, whether it's baby gear or whether it is piecing together a vision that you have for your newest members, again, space or room. I think that that's such a beautiful, creative thing that you and your older kiddos can do together. I'll give you an example. When I was pregnant with Kai, Mike and I actually had some craft days where we literally crafted Kai's mobile set. We cut felt pieces and stitched together like little birds and hung them from fish wire and we used birch pieces from our wedding pergola to include in this mobile that we were building. And I just think that a craft like that or an activity like that would be such a fun way of bringing your older children in on celebrating the life that is coming. So if you can think of a beautiful craft you guys can do together maybe creating an art piece that's going to go in your newest child's room, something again that your little one could be proud of and share with your youngest member of the family as he or she grows. It's just another way to cement that bond and just create lasting beautiful memories together. So I hope you found these little tips helpful. If you have any great suggestions, I'm always open to hear them. Please drop them in the comment section below and I will catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching, bye.